so guys, we're going to mount and label our oil pastel project. Obviously, this is not an oil pastel project, but, um, but it's just a plain white sheet of paper to show you how to mount and label. So you want to make sure that if your project is vertical, so that it's tall, you have the black paper for the vertical project. And if you have a horizontal project, which means it's wide, that you have the black paper that's cut for the horizontal project. I'm going to do both so you guys can see. So when I do this, guys, I'm going to be using a white, char a white color pencil just so you can see it on the screen really well. But you should be using a pencil to make your mark. So make sure you grab a pencil. Okay. So grab a pencil. All right, so grab your pencils. But again, I'm going to be using a, a white color pencil just so you can see it on the black paper. All right, so the first thing we need to do, you're going to grab your ruler, okay? I'm going to be using a metal ruler. Uh, you guys probably have the clear acrylic rulers. Now, this metal ruler, again, the measurements, and it's kind of hard to see. There we go. Do not start at the end of the ruler, okay? They start... Uh, a little bit like an eighth of an inch off of it. So you want to make sure that you're using that, that first line or where it marks the zero measurement as the end, okay? So what we're going to do, I'm going to put my ruler right here at the top of my project, just like so. All right, and again, my measurements don't start at the end of the ruler. I need to make sure I have the edge of that black paper um, matched up with that very first mark on the ruler where it's basically zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, right where it says one inch, I am going to, I'm going to lower this a little bit, I'm going to make a mark right here like this where it says one. So that's the one inch mark. So I'm going to make a mark right there like that. So everybody do this. This is right off the left side of my paper. Okay. Everybody got that? All right, good. So now I want you to take your ruler, and now I want you to do this with it. Okay? We're going to basically measure and mark one inch from the very top of our paper. So make sure, again, that the edge of your paper is matched up where the beginning of your measurements are. I need to look at this a little bit better. There we go. Okay? So make sure you got it lined up right. And then right here where it says one... I'm going to mark that measurement. That's one inch right there. Again, you should be doing this with pencil. I'm doing this with the white color pencil. That way you guys can see it on the screen. I'm going to do this again just so you guys can see this. But this time I'm going to do it with the horizontal paper. So if you need a review, it's basically the same thing. So if you're on the horizontal paper, it's the same thing. Measure one inch from the left side. Make a mark. Measure one inch from the top. Make a mark. And this is just, I'm doing the same thing, but just on the horizontal paper. Okay? Anybody know what's next? Yeah, we're going to glue it down. Next step, guys, is to glue our project down. Now, so this is where you got to remember you have oil pastel on this. So be very kind of careful. You don't want to just like turn it over and then smash it in your black paper. So just turn it over, very gentle. And then what you want to do, you're going to take your rubber cement again, take a lot of that rubber cement off the brush, and you're just going to basically put glue down in the corner. And then I take it from the corner and I just kind of make it look like an arrow. So you're going to do that at each one of the corners. I will zoom this out so you guys can see this a bit better. Yeah, need more. Okay. 
lift this up. There we go. So you guys can see most of it. All right, so again, take your rubber cement. You want to take most of the glue off, and you're just going to frame out the corner just like that. And then I dip that into the rubber cement again, take off the excess glue, and I just kind of pull it from the corner into the middle. It makes it kind of look like an arrow. I'm going to do that on all four corners. Again, just wipe off the excess rubber cement. Now, everybody should be doing this, regardless if you're finished or not with your project. This is the only day we're going to be doing this in class, so that's why you need to do it now. Black paper will not prevent you from working on it. Now after I get all four corners, um, with a project this big, I do like to kind of get another round of glue and just kind of put it here in some of these blank areas. Um, but not, you just don't want to overdo it because the rubber cement, it will, it will go on and attach it permanently if you use too much and we don't want to do that. So after you get that rubber cement on, what you're going to do is then You've got those two marks. That will help you line up your project on the black paper so that way you have an inch on the side, an inch at the top, and it should give you an inch over on the right side too because it's already been cut for you. Now because I don't have any oil pastel on my project, I can do it, I can kind of press the paper down onto the black like this. But you guys have oil pasta, you want to kind of use your fingertips and just gently press it down without smudging your oil pasta. All right, I'm going to do this for the vertical paper now. So you guys can see this demo again. Same thing with the verticals. arrows just work out well. Kind of covers the right amount of space. Again, those marks are for you to line up your project on that black paper. In the end, you should have an inch on the left, an inch at the top, and an inch over on the right side. Because it's oil pastel, just use your fingertips and just gently press that into the black paper. You should have extra paper at the bottom on both the vertical and the horizontal. All right, next step, after you get that, is I want you guys to get your label out, okay? Get your label in front of you and a Sharpie marker. Do not start filling it out until I start the instructions and help you fill it out. Okay, so I'm going to try to focus that. So I'm move this a little bit. All right, so that way it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. All right, so here's your label, okay? Um, artist, that's obviously you. Please make sure when you're filling these out, guys, that you fill it out nice and neat, okay? That is part of your grade. And this is presentation, so presentation is everything, okay? 
put your first and last name and make sure that you do properly capitalize your name, okay? So I'm going to put my name on here. You put yours on your label. But that is your name, okay? Now media, who remembers what media is? What does that mean? Yeah, what did we use on this project? Oil, Oil pastel. I'll show you how to spell it. And we're going to say oil pastel just because we obviously used a lot of colors on this. Okay. Now I'm going to skip title. I always skip title when I initially fill these in because this is what takes some thought. Class, it's going to be drawing and painting one, period, six, because this is six bell, but you're going to put whatever class period it is. Uh, make sure that you properly capitalize drawing and painting one because it is the name of a class. Okay, so I'm going to write this in. You can use the and sign. And then you can put, oh, I missed the one. Ah, I think I, ah. Mrs. Gower's going to have to do this one again. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to do mine again. That looks, that looks bad. All right, give me a minute. All right. That looks better. Okay. So. I ran out of room just because drawing painting is long, so you could put your class period down there if you need to. But, you know, squeezing it in there is not going to be nice and neat. So you can see this is my little goof up. This is the better one. Okay, so I'm going to throw that other one away. Now, title, remember, titles need to be capitalized, just like title of a story, a book, a song. Um, remember, it does not have to have the name... Doesn't have oil. It doesn't have to have oil pastels in the title. It doesn't have to have even the name of your fruits and veggies in there. But it does have to connect to what the piece is about. Okay, so you can pick whatever you want as long as it actually connects with the piece. I'm going to let's see here. Um, I'm going to just put summer produce on mine. Again, you can use whatever title, again, that you feel like matches your project the best, but, you know, you're not going to name it Cotton Candy and Bunny Rabbit, so I always like to use that one because it has nothing to do with Cotton Candy and Bunny Rabbit. All right? So, get your label filled out, and the next step for us is going to be put it on, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, next step, guys, is to put the label on. I'm going to kind of move some of this stuff. This is my this is the horizontal one. As far as the, where the label goes, it's going to go in the same place for everybody's project, regardless if it's horizontal or vertical. But you're going to put it in the middle. You just want to eye it in the middle. There's no need to get your ruler out and try to find the center. But you want a little bit of space between the label and the artwork, just like that, and that's where the label is going to go. You're going to just rubber cement that on. So again, take off a good bit of that glue off of the brush. Make sure you get around all four edges there. And you're just going to glue it right there. Okay? That's the horizontal one. But again, on the vertical, it goes in the same place. Here's the vertical one. I'll put the just a blank label on this vertical one. So again, what you're going to do I'm going to take that label, put it down here in the middle, just a little space between the artwork and the label. And that's where that's going to go. Now, 
the last thing I want you guys to do before you um, finish working with the actual project is you need to sign your artwork in the bottom right hand corner with the media that you used on the project. We did not use Sharpies on this project. We did not use pencil on this project. So you're not using either one of those. You have to use it oil pastel because that's when your project. Remember that when you sign it, you sign it so that it's nice and small. We do not want this to be big and take away attention from the artwork. So when you sign this, sign it with the oil pastel and, and sign with a color again that's not going to show up a lot. So if your bottom right hand corner is like bright yellow, don't use black for your signature, okay? Use a color that's going to be subtle and not take away, again, attention. So grab yourself a color, go ahead and put your initials in that bottom right hand corner. All right, next step, guys. Okay, we have our evaluation sheet. Everybody by now should know how to fill this out. Now remember, when you fill this out, always fill it out with a pencil, not in pen, because if it's in pen and you make a mistake, you can't fix it. And if you fill it out messy, again, you can't fix it if it's in pen. So always use pencil. Name, first and last name. Don't just put your first name. First and last name. Title, that's where the title of your project goes. Okay, so put the title of your project there. So look on your label to see what it is that you actually put down for that. And then make sure you put your class period down on there, okay? Make sure you put your class period. Kind of hard to see. Okay? Now, remember that you are filling out all the student sections, so you want to evaluate yourself. So on this first section, you can see that it says uh, proportion and accuracy. Read the description, and then rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest. So if you feel like there were a couple areas that you missed some things, or they look like they're out of proportion, maybe you give yourself a 9 out of 10, an 8 out of 10, or a 7 out of 10. So you're going to do that through all of this. If you missed a lot of details, okay, or your composition you feel like is not could have been better, make sure that you show that in how you're scoring yourself, okay? So you're going to go through, do all of this. Now, obviously, if your project's not finished, you're probably going to give yourself an incomplete grade here, so maybe you think it's halfway finished. If it's halfway finished, maybe you're giving yourself a 5 out of 10 on all of this. Form, value, intensity, color technique, those are all things. Presentation, that's basically what we're doing today. Read these descriptions. This will tell you you know, what is it, what it is that you're evaluating, but it also serve as a reminder of what you should be doing. So it might help you figure out what you need to do at the last minute to kind of fix things up before you turn it in. You're going to add all these scores up and you're going to put it down here at the bottom. Okay, and then multiply that by two. I'll show you how this goes. So if I'm giving myself, let's say I gave myself a nine out of 10 on that, maybe eight out of 10 there, nine, maybe, Fine there, and I think it did there. So on this, I, let's see here, gave myself, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. I took five points off. <laughs> so that will be a 45 out of 50. 45 multiplied by two, that's a 90%. So that's the score that I gave myself. And then I will be doing all the teacher stuff, okay? And then what you're going to do, if you guys look on this presentation part, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your photograph and you're going to staple it to your evaluation sheet. So I will be looking at your photograph while I grade the project. So you're going to staple that to this and then you're just going to put both papers on top of your project and put it in the turn-in folder. Alright? Turn-in folders on the back table. So that's how you do that, guys. <laughs>